Guys, I'm gonna do a little tutorial here. I've had several friends ask me how to uh, plot points on Google Earth and then uh, transfer them onto Onyx Maps. So let's start at the very beginning. Uh, over here on the left, you notice that I have my folders. I have Mexico, I have Colorado, I have Arizona. One of the things I try and do is I try and keep this, I've got a little bit of stuff I need to organize here but I try and keep it in states, countries, uh, and then if I, if I open my Arizona folder here by just clicking on this arrow, then it breaks all these different units uh, within that Arizona folder. So for this, I'm just going to um, start with a blank slate, and let's just run down here to uh, New Mexico. And I'm going to go here, let's see, by uh, Farmington. Let me find something where there's some roads and such. Uh, okay, out of La Plata, uh, New Mexico. So this is what I'm going to use uh, to show my example here. So uh, what I do when I get to a new unit, um, let's just call this, I'm just going to make up unit um it's going to be unit number one in New Mexico. So I'm going to go up here to the add right up here in the left hand column. Click add, click folder. Uh, I'm going to call this New Mexico. Okay, that's going to be a folder. And then you'll notice that it's going to show up. Um, let's see. Okay, so it showed up there. I need to drag it out of there. Close Mexico. Okay, so I've got a New Mexico folder right here. So I'm gonna make sure that this is blue. I'm gonna go back up here to add. I'm gonna click on folder and I'm gonna call this uh, unit one, New Mexico. Okay, so I'm creating a folder within New Mexico. So you can see up here it says New Mexico, then underneath it, you see how it's subset here. Uh, it says unit one, New Mexico. Now this is just completely random. I have no idea what unit this is. It looks like I'm somewhere near La Plata, New Mexico, somewhere near Aztec. So, okay, uh, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to try and highlight uh, the, let's just talk about the unit boundary or highlight road. So I'm going to go up here to this icon where it says add a path. And I'm going to click on that. Now over here, you can see you have a choice of style or color. If you click on color, you know, you can make it red, you can make it pink, uh, you can make it green, whatever color you want. Typically my roads, highways are green. Uh, so I'm gonna make this green. I'm gonna go down here uh, and click okay. And then you notice this icon right here turns into a little square deal. So. I'm gonna zoom in, so I'm using my mouse and I zoom in and then I'm going to left click, okay? And then I'm going to, you can click your way through it or you can hold and drag. So I'm just dragging and then you can arrow over and on straight lines, it's easy just to click from point to point. If the roads get curvy, uh, you can then, uh, click and drag and then let up and I'm going to go down here and say well I'm going to name this right here I'm going to name this uh, let's just call it highway one okay highway one it's in green all my highways and paved roads are in green so I'm going to go here and click okay okay so there I've got a road. Okay, the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to highlight some of these two track roads. So I'm gonna go up here to add a path. I'm gonna left click, I'm gonna style and color. I'm gonna change that to white. All my two track roads are white. I'm gonna click okay. I'm also gonna go here to the width uh, right here and I'm gonna lower it down to 1.5 and then I'm going to left click drag on the road okay then I'm gonna use the arrow over key 
and I'm gonna drag this road right to there. Then I'm gonna say, okay, I see another road right here, so I'm going to click here. It's a, it's a two track road, so I'm gonna leave it white. I'm just gonna drag it, highlight the road as best I can. Okay, and then I'm gonna go down here and click okay. Okay, if you notice over here inside my folder, I've got New Mexico, Unit 1, I've got Highway 1, and then I've got several untitled paths that I didn't name. Okay, then I'm gonna say um, this is where I wanna camp. Again, I, I, I looks like an oil rig or something here. So anyway, I'm gonna go up to this add place mark. I'm gonna left click and I'm gonna write Jay's camp. And it's gonna give me the option for um, color. Or I, I'm just gonna leave it. Here is the actual uh, latitude and longitude. Um, everything looks fine. I'm gonna hit okay. So Jay's camp is now marked. Notice over here on the left-hand column, I've got New Mexico, I've got Unit 1, I've got Highway 1, Couple Untitled Pass, and then Jay's Camp. Okay, so what I'm going to want to do now is I'm going to add um, another waypoint, and let's just say I want to get out here on this point right here, and I want to do some glassing. So I'm going to go up here to Add Place Mark, I'm going to left click. I'm gonna put in Jay's glassing point. Okay, Jay's glassing point. I'm gonna hit okay. And it added Jay's glassing point, okay? So now I want to move this into Onyx Maps. So what I'm gonna do there is um, I am going to go up here to New Mexico or excuse me, I'm gonna go down to Unit 1 New Mexico. So now everything uh, within that folder, okay? Everything within that folder I need to save. So I'm gonna go up here, I'm gonna right click. I'm gonna go down to Save Place As, okay? I've already got a Google Earth Files folder in my documents, I'm gonna I've already got it named here, uh, Unit 1, New Mexico, and I'm just gonna say Google Earth, oops, Earth Files, okay? One thing that's important is you wanna save this right here. You want to save this as a KML, not a KMZ. So I'm gonna change this to KML, and it's gonna save up here in my Google Earth files. And I'm gonna hit save, okay? Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna minimize this up here on the right, I'm gonna minimize that. And all this other stuff that I'm working on, I'm going to go here, I'm gonna open up the internet. I'm gonna go to onxmaps.com. Gonna log in. I'm going to not show you my login. Not gonna show you my password. And I'm going to click log in. Great. Okay, now I'm logged in. 
Okay, it's really simple. Now I'm gonna go over here in this left-hand column. I'm gonna click My Content. Then I'm gonna go down here to Import File. I'm gonna click that. It's gonna ask me where I wanna um, bring it in from. And it notice it says drag your KML or GPX. And remember we saved it as a KML. So I'm gonna click on Select from Computer. I'm going to go up here to Google Earth Files. I'm going to go down here to um, what did I save it as? Unit 1 New Mexico. I'm going to hit open. Notice it's right here. So all I'm going to do is save my content. It says save successful. So I'm going to zoom in here. And here is my, here's what I just entered. Here is the road that I put in. Here is the paved road. Here is, if I click on this, uh, here is Jay's camp. Here's the coordinates. If I click over here, um, it's Jay's glassing point. Uh, one thing to point out here on this Onyx Maps, it doesn't transfer your colors from Google Earth uh, to uh, Onyx Maps. So all you do is you just if I want to make this line, which I said was a paved road, I want to change the color. I'm just going to click on it. I'm going to go to these little dots down here. And it doesn't give me the option of green, but I'm going to, uh, my paved roads on OnX are always this aquamarine color. And notice it changes right away. Okay. So then I'm going to go down and I'm going to hit save. Then I'm going to change these roads, which you don't have to. You don't have to change anything, but I'm just going to change them to white because I try and keep everything the same. Save. Okay, I'm also going to change this road right here to white. You can also change the, make it a dotted line, a dashed line, a thicker line. Uh, here I'll just for, see I made it in more narrow. Here it goes to more thick. It goes to dotted, let's just save it as a dotted line. Um, I can also put in any notes there. It's telling me that the total length is 1.07 miles and I'm gonna hit save. Okay, now let's go down to these icons. I can also change, so it's giving me the coordinates, it's giving me the name, it's giving me when I created that point and then I'm gonna go down and there's all these icons uh, here, access, antelope, arrow, boat ramp, cow elk, you know, deer feeder, ducks, uh, all this stuff here. Glassing area, I'm going to click on this icon. Notice it changed it. Um, I can also go and change the color. So if I make all my glassing icons white, so if you keep everything the same, notice it changed it to white, and I'm going to hit save. Then I'm gonna to go to this icon. I'm going to change this to my camp. So I'm gonna scroll down here to camp right here. And I always make my camp blue. And then I'm gonna click down to save. Okay, so you can see right there, that is my desktop on X maps. Uh, now that that file from Google Earth has been brought in successfully. Uh, I'm going to run through uh, this down in the lower right hand corner. Uh, there is a topo, there is a hybrid, and there is a satellite view. Now whenever you make those changes um, in your Onyx desktop, when you log into your app on your phone, this will automatically transfer over to your map on your phone, which is a beautiful thing. Uh, and I'll take a screenshot of that here when I get off to show you how working on this Onyx desktop 
immediately put it on my app on my phone. Uh, guys, if you have any other questions about how to transfer or import or export anything uh, from Onyx Maps, or if you have any Google Earth questions, feel free to send me a direct message on Instagram uh, at jscottoutdoors or send me an email jscottoutdoors at gmail.com.